and I'm going to adjust the height so that it's inside the walls and not see there I'm changing the wall and you see it in the 3D uh, I want it to be right inside the wall like that and then I want to go ahead and change the wall so I'm going to hit escape and then I'm going to select opposing walls camera just click and I'm going to change the go back to the top view by holding control tab and pressing that twice and I'm going to go outside the wall and adjust the shape. See, I'm doing the outside the wall. If I do outside the corner, I might accidentally change the width of some of these walls, which would be wrong. And now you see they're inside the wall. Now I hit escape again, and we have a, a properly shaped room. Now another note that I should say, I've been looking around in here with the arrow key. This is, I guess it's kind of old school to do that, because using the mouse to look around in here used to be a nightmare with the older versions. But you can do that. You can do that by uh, holding the left, I mean the right mouse button, and dragging, and you can look around. But I find it just easier to just use the arrow key. I can pull down the arrow key, or I can just click each way and, and look around. And also I can use the A to look up, and the Z to look down. And I can strafe using the uh, the uh, comma and the period. Okay. So now that we have a room, I'll save again. Let's put in some textures. Let's make this look like a room. And right now we still have our tools textures, and we want to select some other, something else. Something else. So let's make sure everything's deselected. Escape. Let's go up to our textures and go to uh, locale, and in this case, go back to all. And now I'm going to go to my textures again, and I'm going to go to surface type and select something else like, like concrete. That's just a basic texture. All right, and now we want to just select something in here that'll look like it belongs in the in the game. And oh, there's some brick. We'll use that for the wall. And this is basic concrete. Don't select decal. Decal's for something else. For another tutorial included, we're going to put in some concrete. Now, before I select that texture, I'm going to select where I'm going to apply it. And now I don't want to apply it on the entire brush by hitting Shift click. No, I don't want the entire brush selected. You see its outline and everything. Now I just want the top of it selected, so I'm going to hit Escape and I'm going to hold Control, Shift, and click, and that'll just give me the top surface of that brush. See, I'll zoom out. See, just the top surface, which is exactly where we want the texture to be applied, and then I'll select the texture. There's a nice concrete texture. Perfect. Now we want to do something similar to all the walls. Now let's select the wall. I hit Escape and I hit Control, Shift, click, get a wall in there, and let's find that one of those brick textures up here. Here we go. And it looks a little interesting. I don't know if I care for all that. Here, I'll do this one, the second one up there. There we go. And now I'm ready to apply that texture to another wall. And now I could just deselect and apply it there, but there's a quicker method. I can hold down the Control, Shift, and Middle Mouse button to apply the selected texture to the wall I'm clicking. Nice and easy. Now this method of adjusting this, of these textures, if you wanted to, you could actually hit the S key and pull up this in surface inspector and adjust the horizontal stretch. You can try and fit one texture into the whole surface. You can also change the size of the texture and the shifting. And actually, uh, I believe if you hit uh, if if you click in here on the surface and use the arrow keys, let's see, and hold the shift and use the arrow keys, you can see I'm shifting the texture around. Now that's important later if you want to let's say line up a door texture. But uh so these are, those are just some basic ideas on how you can get things to work within your map. And I'm going to hit cancel. I don't need that. Or I could hit S key to close it up and hit escape so I don't change my wall. And I want to put a, a ceiling texture on there. Let's look up. Okay. Select, escape, and then control, shift, select. And let's find another concrete. Uh, let's just select the second one and hit escape. Now we've got our room. All right. Z to look down and save the map again. Okay, now we have our basic room, but we don't have a way to get into the room. We need a spawn point. Now, since I said we're going to start off with a single player map, what we want to do is we want to put in a single player spawn point. And to do that, we hold that, we right, cl right click the map, the grid area, and it'll bring up this menu. And what we want to do is in put in an info player start, like that. There's our player. And look over here in the Z window. Make sure it's not st yep, it was sticking in the floor. We don't want it outside the room because entities outside the room or any holes in the room that'll cause an error during when we make it into a playable level. It'll cause an error called a leak, and that's because light or this light yes light can get out into the voidness 
the the empty space of of uh, of the map, and it can't compile light that goes shoots out forever. It needs to reflect off of something or have it have a finite end. It can't go infinitely, and that's why it's important not to have any leaks. So we're going to make sure the player is on the floor. I'm using my Z window, but of course I could hit Control Tab and look at it this way. All right, and go back to the top. And let's say when a player spawns, I don't want them facing the wall by accident. So I'm going to hit the N, N as in Nancy here, key, and bring up my Entity Editor. And it has this nice little group of buttons over here on the bottom corner. What that is, is the direction in which the player, or the, the entity, is facing. And in this case, it's the player, when he spawns, and the way he'll be facing. And I want to face him in this direction. So I'll place the, press the button that's pointing in that direction. I did it, and there, now you see the player is facing in that direction. Alright, so I'll select that window, press N to close it. I select the window just to make sure that it's that I'm closing that window. And I'm going to turn in the 3D view and show you what the player looks like. There it is. Oop, That's what the player looks like. Inside the map, I know, nothing fancy. Alright, now we have the player. Hit escape so I don't mess anything up. We have the player in there. Now, the player's in the room, but he can't see because there's no lights. So we need some lights in here. Let's put a couple lights in. Now to put a light in, what we do is we right click, add light. That's it. Now the light's in there. But when you do that, don't get nervous because everything changes in this window. It goes black or, I'm going to turn my view, or looks black and white, I should say. And what that is, is the, the map is giving you a rough idea of what the light is going to look like as it applies to the walls and stuff. And so, in this case, it's going to shine in this corner as it is doing here. And you can see this is the radius. This is how far it shoots out. Now, we can change those values, but I don't want to do that in this tutorial. That's really for something else. And uh, where's the height? It's like right on the floor. Now, let's put this closer to the ceiling, more in the middle, right in there. And now, the light is going to shine in there. And I'm going to want to hit Escape. And you can see there's the light entity right in there. Now I'm going to hold shift and click the light entity to select it again because I want another light. And now yes, I could right click and push another light in here, or I can copy the light I have now. And to copy it, you hit the space bar. Creates a copy, and I can drag it into here. There you go. Now let's say you don't like white light. Maybe you're trying to create blue and red, you know, like opposing teams. Well, if you want to change the color 